哦，咯咯咯咯咯咯咯咯咯。那么就来开始今天的运动。<笑>坚持住！哦哦哦！在购买拉伸的过程中。Hi everyone, I hope you guys have been well considering what's been happening in the world lately. Today, I would like to share with you how I lost around three kilos at home in a week without following a strict diet. I recently travelled interstate from Sydney to Gold Coast, and as suspected, I received a mandatory self-quarantine order from the Queensland Police. So for the next two weeks, I'll be more stuck at home than ever, and I can't even go out for a walk. So I thought maybe this is finally my time to start working out at home. I also wanted to eat healthier because I've been using food delivery a bit too much since the beginning of this lockdown. When I was still in Sydney, I ordered on average three pizzas per week by myself, which was kind of crazy. So I tend to deal with stress or any other problems with food, and that's definitely not a good habit. That's why I decided to see what I can do in the next few days to get my health back on track. Here is me trying to exercise. I did consider Chloe Ting's abs challenge, but I thought my legs needed more help than my abs, so I went with a leg workout instead. I will put the routine down in the description in case you want to check it out. I got super hungry after the workout, and luckily my mom was just cooking some beef burgers for dinner that night. Despite being a burger, I suppose this homemade one is a lot healthier than the burgers that we buy outside. My family like to talk a lot during dinner, so I naturally eat pretty slowly. Good morning, guys. So on day three, I did the exercise before having breakfast. This workout is quite beginner friendly, but since it was my first time in a long time that day, I struggled so much on day one trying to complete this workout. I'm hating the fact that my hair blends in perfectly with the plant. I'm not so sure if you can tell, but I guess compared to the very first day I did this exercise,、uh, I improved a lot and was able to do the whole thing without stopping too much in the middle. Yes, stretching is also very important. I learned that the very hard way. Probably not the healthiest dinner, but once in a while it's okay. And here's just me doing some very rough practice for Chong Ha's day to night dance. On day five, I had a bowl of pumpkin soup for breakfast. I didn't want to eat too much on the day because I know I will be filming some dance covers. And this is me trying to get ready for filming. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time, so I kind of suck at it now. But I'm just hoping that people won't be able to see my face so clearly this time because the video is not going to be in 4K. Hello, I just got changed into my outfit for Chong Ha. I'm pretty much reusing what I've been wearing for every single cover because、um, I can't really、mm. go out and buy any clothes at the moment. I'm ready to film, but I think I need to wait for the sun to settle down a little bit because right now it's too sunny. Yeah, I don't think the lighting is very nice. A few moments later.
Oh, that's way too close. I just finished filming for Horizon today uh, and I need to cook dinner now before my mom comes back. Good morning guys, I just realized I'm holding that upside down. So it's day 7 today and I would like to start my morning with a cup of coffee. And for breakfast this morning I'm having a toast. And for lunch, I had the leftover chicken rice from last night. And this is my dinner. It may not look like a lot, but it was filling. <laughs> 